we're going to set up an auto siphon between two barrels. This tubing needs to go all the way to the bottom. It really helps if you have a little piece of bread to temporarily clog the ends of the tubes. we got to fill the tube with water. And now we'll just fill it up and watch for it on the other side. And we're about full right here. I'll take some bread, jam it tightly in here. We don't want the water escaping yet. And we'll jam it in both ends. We'll put it back into the barrels, but first we want to make sure that there is water in the both barrels above the bottom of the tube. It might take a little bit of time for the bread to dissolve, but once it does, we'll know that it worked whenever um, the water level in this barrel drains down to an equal in this barrel. This one is all the way full at the top, and this one is about four inches down. So when we see this one drop, we know that it's working. All the plastic here on the roof catches the rainwater and brings it to the gutter here. The gutter brings it down this tube into this barrel. And now, with the addition of the second barrel, we'll have twice the water capacity. And then we use it to water the garden. If there's any air in the top of this tube, it won't work. We can see that they're balanced. This one's much lower, and this one is a lot higher. Now both barrels are balanced and ready to go.